What's up, everybody? New episode of the list right here, right now. Hope you enjoyed. This is the list episode number sixteen. I'll be talking Asuka's NXT Women's Title reign. It's been a record-setting, record-breaking one in a very long title reign. And I'll be discussing in this episode of the list. I'll be talking about Michael Bennett. Mike Bennett, The Miracle, and Maria Canellis, his wife. They have left, decided to leave Impact Wrestling. I don't know if... I'm sure Impact Wrestling wanted them back. I don't know if they discussed a kind of new contract or what. But I believe Maria and Mike Bennett's contracts were coming up probably really soon probably these next set of tapings which the next set of TNA tapings under new management and Jeff Jarrett as a head of creative or head of I don't know what his title is but Jeff Jarrett is running things also the guy from uh, Anthem he's the new president of TNA his name is Ed Nord nor dumb or something like that also the head of creative the head of the creative team is Dutch Mantel very smart man and he was there part of the creative team when TNA had its best years in my opinion so Dutch Mantel I got faith in that guy he's a very smart knows a lot about the wrestling business and what to do and how to book a show, and how to run a show, and how to get talent over. So, I'll be talking Michael Bennett and Maria leaving Impact Wrestling. I'll talk about it right now. Very sad news. Impact Wrestling has taken a lot of hits. A lot, a lot of hits that are not good. Not saying they can't survive. Of course they can survive. Because they got money behind them. They got Anthem putting money into them to make them survive. So they don't go under. Also, Anthem did a very smart thing. Before I talk about Michael Bennett and Maria leaving, Anthem has done a very smart thing. I don't know whose idea it was. Maybe it's Jeff Jarrett's idea. To phase out the TNA name. To get rid of all their merchandise that says TNA on it. Well, Impact Wrestling Shop TNA.com, which I am going to order, I'm going to give in and uh, order a brown bag special, probably tonight. So I'll probably be getting that in, I don't know, seven days from now. They did a very smart thing with bringing back Don West, doing the brown bag specials, five t shirts. I believe it's five t-shirts, two DVDs, and two other items for 20 bucks. So, off their brown bag specials, Impact Wrestling has probably made a pretty good amount of money in the past month. They probably made pretty much money from fans. Because that's a great deal. But, where is Anthem going? What is the future hold for Impact Wrestling I don't care where Anthem goes. I care about what they do with Impact Wrestling. Obviously, they didn't re-sign Drew Galloway or the Broken Hardys, man Jeff Hardy. They couldn't come up with new contracts for them. They didn't want to pay them a lot of big money. They didn't want to give the Hardys creative control. So the Hardys decided to leave. Good for them. They can still make a lot of money on the indies or in WWE. Drew Galloway. That guy was a super talent. He could go back to WWE. He could be part of NXT. He could be part of Raw. He could be part of SmackDown Live. Drew Galloway could go over, go to any company and get over anywhere. The guy's a great talent. Great wrestler. And he has a great look. And he's damn talented. So the Hardys are gone. Drew Galloway's gone. 
and now Maria and Michael Bennett are gone. That sucks. That's sad. I like Maria a lot. She was a great, great heel. As a, uh, as a, I believe she was running the knockouts division. She was a great on-air heel. She got great heat. She had a pretty damn entertaining storyline with Allie, putting Allie down all the time. So that's pretty sad because on the last episode of Impact Wrestling last week, we had Allie finally snap in the Spear Maria during the wedding of Laura Von Ness. Allie snapped, attacked Maria, but now the next set of tapings, that story's over. It's going to be over, sadly, because Maria and Mike Bennett are not part of Impact Wrestling anymore. Maybe they were offered a good deal. They just decided they didn't want to take it. That they want to move on and do something else. I don't know what else they're going to do. They could go back to Ring of Honor, but that would be kind of... I mean, they moved up. The latter, in my opinion, they moved up to Impact Wrestling. Because, yes, Ring of Honor is great talent. Yes, they work with New Japan Pro Wrestling a lot. New Ring of Honor, I will admit, is the third biggest company. But Michael Bennett and Maria moved up to Impact Wrestling, the second biggest company, because, or, I don't know. You could argue NXT's the number two company in the world because they're on the network. Even though NXT's part of WWE, they're still their own brand and company, kind of. Because they're touring on their own and making their own money under the NXT name. And you could also say New Japan Pro Wrestling is the second company. But Impact Wrestling is above Ring of Honor because they have two hours on, they have a two hour deal on cable TV every week. Ring of Honor does not have two hours on cable TV every week. They're on free TV, over the air TV, and their show's only one hour. But Ring of Honor does have uh, pay per views. I believe they do six pay per views a year. So going back to Ring of Honor would be a downgrade would be going backwards, in my opinion, for Maria and Michael Bennett to go back to Ring of Honor. That would be going backwards in their careers, in my opinion. I would like to see... I don't know why they decided to leave Impact. Again, it was probably both of their decisions because they are a married couple. Maybe they don't want to be in wrestling anymore. I don't know. Maybe Maria wants to become a mother. I don't know. If she does want to become a mother, good for her, great for her. I hope it happens if she wants to become a mother. I hope she gets pregnant and starts a family with Mike Bennett because they seem like a great couple. I'll, I'll say one thing about Mike Bennett on Twitter. The guy's super nice, great guy on Twitter to talk to, interact with. The guy's a damn nice guy. He's retweeted my tweets before he's uh, liked a couple of my tweets. Very nice guy. So, wherever, whatever Maria and Mike Bennett decide to do, wherever they decide to go, I will follow them and I will always be a fan of theirs. So, wherever they go, whatever they decide to do for the rest of their careers, I will follow them and be a fan of theirs. And I hope they do go to another company and stay in pro wrestling because they're both damn good in pro wrestling. Maria's a great talker and a great heel character. And Michael Bennett is a damn good worker, great wrestler also. So I don't see him going back to Ring of Honor. I would like to see Mike Bennett and Maria go to NXT. I think they'd be entertaining and good in NXT. They could also go to Raw or SmackDown Live, but SmackDown Live, I don't see them bringing in Mike Bennett or Maria because they already got Maurice and Miz on SmackDown Live. They already got John Cena and Nikki. They're like a couple. 
So I don't think they bring in another wrestling couple on SmackDown Live because of Maurice and Miz being there. But they could be uh, Maria could manage Mike Bennett in NXT. I would enjoy seeing that. Seeing them in NXT, I think they would add a lot to NXT because they're both really experienced in pro wrestling. They've been to Ring of Honor, been to Impact, to wherever they go next. I hope they're very happy wherever they end up. And whatever they decide to do, I hope they're happy. So, Mike Bennett Maria gone from Impact Wrestling. That sucks. But I hope they land on their feet and do something in pro wrestling still. Now to Asuka. The NXT Women's Champion. She has been the champion for 333 days. Maybe you're watching this after March 1st. So she's a champion for over 333 days. Record title reign. The longest title reign currently, I think, in pro wrestling is Asuka's. Definitely Asuka's the longest reigning champion in WWE. Also, she's the longest reigning champion in NXT history. Longer than any NXT world champion, longer than any NXT women's champion before, longer than any NXT tag champion, Asuka. Asuka's awesome. I love Asuka. She's a great worker, great, great wrestler. She has a great look. She has an it factor. Asuka's great. She has already surpassed Paige's record. Of being NXT Women's Champion, I believe. I don't have the exact dates, but you can look it up for yourself. I believe Paige became NXT Women's Champion in June or July of 2013. I remember watching it. At the time, NXT was only had a TV deal, I believe, overseas. But I still got the show off the internet. So it was June or July, might have been August, I don't remember the month, but they had a long women's tournament, the finals I believe, the finals was Asuka, not Asuka, what am I saying, Asuka wasn't even there in 2013, the finals of the women's tournament to crown the first ever NXT women's champion was Paige and I believe Emma. Not Emmalina, Emma. I mean, she had her kind of goofy gimmick, and I, I loved her theme music where she'd go like this. I thought that was damn entertaining in NXT, and still, that was damn entertaining in NXT until they brought it to the main roster, and they killed, killed her character by putting her with Santino, which was stupid as fuck. But in NXT, I enjoyed Emma doing her little dance and popping her bubbles. That was pretty funny. So, I believe the finals of the tournament was Paige Emma. Paige wins the women's title, becomes the first NXT women's champion. Triple H comes in the ring, raises her hand up. She was emotional. It was 2013, I believe in the summer. June or July. I, might have, I think it was June or July. So, then Paige held the title, NXT Women's Champion, from June or July 2013 until April, until April or May of 2014, because after WrestleMania 30, in 2014, the night after WrestleMania 30, Paige debuted on Raw, won the Divas title, so then she was a double champion, but she had to... Uh, give up the NXT Women's title because she's on the main roster. So Paige had a very long title reign. June or July 2013 until April or May 2014. So I think she had the title 9 or 10 months. That's a very long title run. And title reign. But Asuka has really surpassed it. <laughs> Asuka has been there since October 2015 yes October 2015 I believe she's still undefeated 
and she's still the women's champion for 333 days, record breaking. That is awesome. I don't see anybody beating Asuka, maybe Ember Moon, but I don't even see that happening anytime soon. I don't think Asuka will be defeated at NXT TakeOver Orlando before WrestleMania 33. I just don't see that happening. Asuka will probably still be women's champion until NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2017. Hope you enjoy this episode number 16 of The List. Watch all my other episodes of The List in my List playlist. Follow me on Twitter. Like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Bye for now, everybody.